What's up everyone? Welcome back to the garage. So today I'm taking apart the transmission. Yeah, this intro was mostly useless, so I'm just gonna narrate it for y'all. First thing I did was get a 1 and 1 8 socket on the rear drive shaft assembly. I tried to get it first with a socket wrench and a screwdriver, but I just ended up putting an impact on it, hooked up to the air compressor, and it came right off. I used a half inch socket on those four bolts that connect the backing plate for the emergency brake to the transfer case, but I had to take off the brake shoes because the springs got in the way and then the plate just fell off. After that, I had to take the parking brake lever arm off because it kind of poked through and was at a weird angle, so it was just easier to take it off right then. These are the brake shoes after I cleaned them up, and they were just falling apart. So back with the 9 16 there were five bolts connecting the shifter assembly or the transfer case cover plate, uh, whatever you want to call it, to the transfer case, and I had to take those off, and then... After that, I had to remove the nut holding the front propeller shaft. However, I do have a word of advice. Do not use your hands to try to hold it. <laughs> oh, baby. And then I found that I had to take off the rest of the transfer case shifter assembly because it kind of got in the way of everything. What I didn't realize at the time and I had to figure out was that I took off these two little hex caps with these springs and these balls that go inside and those are part of these detents and so those had to come out from the sides in order for the rest of that to slide out. Then that cover plate slid off and then I had to remove the four 9 16 bolts that attached the transfer case to the transmission. I also didn't film it, but there was a one and a quarter nut that goes in that opening on the transfer case on the back that you have to take off or else the assembly won't come off. And with a little bit of persuasion, the transfer case came right off. Yeah, buddy. Then I decided to take the bell housing adapter off of the bell housing, which I don't necessarily know why I wanted to do that, uh, but I figured I should take it apart anyway, uh, just to make sure that everything was clean when I put it back together. So I did that. Uh, that was an interesting experience, but uh, nevertheless, I got it off. I also started taking the transmission apart and then I took off, I have no idea what that's called, 
uh, but I just used eight millimeter on those three screws and the thing slid off. There was a little clip that I took off. And um, that can't come out until the bottom two shafts come out. Um, so next, I just gotta remove those guys and we should be completely apart with the transmission. All we have left is that idler right there. T86AA-1B. That is the disassembly of the T80. T86AA-1B. So, in summary, we have the main shaft. The, the main shaft. <laughs> uh, yeah. Why did they allow me to work on this stuff? So we have some parts. And uh, basically what I need to do with these parts is I need to get a rebuild kit for things like these chewed up gears right here, stuff like that. Just make sure, you know, what gears can I reuse? What do I need to get new ones of? And I need to get new bearings, probably synchros, all that jazz, and throw her back together. And she should be solid. Uh, altogether, this transmission is in good shape though. I am very glad to see it in the condition that it is. And uh, next video, we got to tackle that transfer case. So thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Denver inside the one. Elway is under center.